Over the next few days, a lot of people are going to start talking about our nation defaulting on its debt. Today, I'd like to explain a few things to help Americans understand the conversation. The United States debt ceiling is a legislative restriction on the amount of national debt that can be issued by the Treasury. Throughout our history, Congress has used the debt ceiling as a way to rein in a president's wayward spending habits. For example, in 2006, Senator Barack Obama voted against the debt ceiling and explained to his colleagues why. He said, and I quote, the fact that we are here today to debate raising America's debt limit is a sign of leadership failure. It is a sign that the U.S. government can't pay its own bills. It is a sign that we now depend on ongoing financial assistance from foreign countries to finance our government's reckless fiscal policies. Increasing America's debt weakens us domestically and internationally. Leadership means that the buck stops here. Instead, Washington is shifting the burden of bad choices today onto the backs of our children and grandchildren. America has a debt problem and a failure of leadership. Americans deserve better." End quote. The potential of our nation defaulting is going to dominate the news in the next week or so. Yet, I am confident that the United States will not default on its debt obligations. If the debt ceiling is not raised, the nation will be forced to prioritize its spending so that the country does not default. The question of the debt ceiling is not whether we default, it's about whether we borrow more money today to pay the interest on debt from yesterday or use the money we have coming into the Treasury. I'd like to take a few minutes here to explain how this all works. The United States government receives revenue on a daily basis. It also has to pay interest on the debt our nation has amassed. For example, this past August, the Treasury reported it received just over $185 billion. The interest we owe on our debt is roughly $20 billion a month. Let's break this down in terms that relate to normal American lives. Let's drop eight zeros. The United States government takes in an equivalent of $1,850 and has a debt bill of $200. There is little reason to believe that the Treasury could not meet its debt obligations when, on average, our revenue regularly exceeds our debt payments by at least $100 billion. Our average monthly revenue is $225 billion. Ordinary Americans understand that you first pay your mortgage and car payments before you go on a golf trip. The question should not be whether we should default. We won't. The question should be whether or not we continue to pile on more debt, leaving our children and grandchildren to clean up our fiscal mess. Or should we make tough decisions today and start balancing our budget like so many Americans have to do every month. President Obama was correct when, as a senator, he thought that increasing the debt ceiling was not good for the country. It is a failure in leadership to rubber stamp an increase in the debt ceiling. Washington, D.C. has an addiction to debt. The first step to recover for any addict is to admit that you have a problem. This discussion of the debt ceiling is a perfect place to do just that. Thank you.